In this video we're going to be looking at the latest release of Ubuntu GNOME, that is version 12.04. Now it should come as no surprise to Ubuntu fans that there is not a great deal of difference to be seen on the desktop. Nevertheless, we're going to have a quick look around just to let you know what to expect. So there are no real major changes to the desktop. As you can see, at the top of the screen we have the top panel and down the left hand side we have the Unity launcher. So let's take a look at the top panel first. Obviously on the left hand side by default we have access to the menus for the file manager when nothing else is open on the screen. Then we have a, a new icon, a keyboard here, which allows you to change the default keyboard layout. To the right of that, this envelope icon allows you access to your chat um, application, which is empathy. Uh, and it also allows you access to your other communication methods, basically uh, mail, which has now changed to Thunderbird and Ubuntu One. So this brings me to one of the main gripes that people have with Ubuntu at the moment and that is the fact that they are seemingly unable to come up with a um, consistent core set of applications. Um, as I say, we seem to have uh, slipped back from Evolution to Thunderbird. I'm not 100% sure why they made that decision, but uh, it is one of the things that may slightly annoy you when you upgrade to 1204, that you have to um, import all your uh, mail setup into a new client. To the right of the envelope icon we have our battery status as we're running on a laptop here. I should point out that as usual we're running on a laptop with Ubuntu booted into live CD mode. So to the right of that icon we have the Bluetooth settings. Well, I tend to disable my Bluetooth so there's not much to be seen there. To the right of the Bluetooth icon we have our network settings and this is a fairly generic kind of GNOME setup where we can see the status of our connection or to change the actual properties. To the right of the network icon we have access to our volume and also to our default MP3 player. And again this is another one of those changes. We've gone from Banshee back to Rhythmbox. To the right of that we have access to our calendar. Now, Calendar obviously has now gone from Evolution to Thunderbird, and one of the annoying things I find about this over, for instance, the uh, GNOME 3 implementation in Fedora is you can't see any of your appointments by looking in this preview window, and you can't actually boot straight into the Calendar application in order to see or change those appointments from here. So it's a kind of a limited use, this Calendar, just to see where you are in the month and uh, what might be coming up. Now to the right of the Time icon, we have our standard Ubuntu um, system menu, so we can change things like the system settings, our display setup, change our startup applications, um, update the operating system, access our printers, log out, suspend and shut down, etc. Don't think that's changed from the previous release. So that's the top panel. What about the Unity launcher? I think the main activity that um, Ubuntu have been concentrating on here is to make things work a little bit better. They supposedly um, updated it to work a little bit faster. Definitely looks a little bit sharper in use. If you hover over any of these icons here you get this larger label showing you what that icon will invoke when you click on it. If you right click on any of them you get a number of options for that particular icon so you'll see that the options change depending on which icon you select. So that's quite nice. Minimize applications are not easy to spot but this little you might be able to see it, this very small white triangle down here pointing. These show the applications that I have actually running at the moment, but minimized. So here I've got my browser, I've got my software center, and I've got a terminal window. Uh, one of the annoying things is if you click back on the icon, it doesn't minimize, so you've got to go back up to the minimize icon and physically minimize it. Access to system functions is via this top icon in the Unity Launcher. If we click on that, one thing I quite like here is that you can see your desktop to the back, a kind of a 
translucent or a, a narrow depth of field effect so you can actually see what's on your desktop while you're actually working in this window. So from here we can search for a particular application. So if I come back to the home, I can search for, for instance, a terminal application and then I can just click on it to launch it. Okay, and we can demonstrate here. If I was to go back in here, you can see that my window is just visible through the background here as an out of focus representation of my desktop, which is kind of nice. Let's take a look at the uh, software center. So I click on the software center. Obviously, it looks very similar to the previous software center. One thing I quite like about this is this new section here books and magazines, which uh, I quite like. So if you're short of reading matter, you can come in here and take a look at a particular magazine and decide if that's something that you might want to buy and invest in. So that's quite a nice change, I think. Otherwise, the um, software look center works very much like it did in the previous release. You can either go via category to look at the various games available, for instance, or uh, internet applications or you can use the search facility for instance if I want to get back to Banshee because I'm not that keen on Rhythmbox I can come down here I can select it and I can install it from here so if I just click on this you can see that the install begins and I get a progress bar and eventually it will install just talk amongst yourselves while this is happening OK, and once it's finished, as it has done now, you can see that the Install button changes to a Remove button. And I can either go back to my home and take a look there, or I can just uh, get rid of my software center. I'm just going to minimize it here. So as you can see now, I've got a uh, application here. Just click on it, and there we go. There's our Banshee Media Player installed. Uh, one other thing to mention down here is the Workspace Switcher. Now if we click on this, we have by default four workspaces. If we double click on any of the four corners of this square, we can uh, switch to that particular workspace. One slightly annoying thing I find is that minimize applications don't show up in the workspace switcher. So for instance, if I maximize these and then go into the workspace switcher, I can see those applications, but if I minimize them, I don't see them at all, so it's kind of difficult. Um, if you've got a number of applications open in each workspace, but you have them minimized, it's very difficult to figure out which workspace they were in without actually double-clicking on each of the workspaces in turn to find out the correct workspaces. It's also slightly annoying to have to double-click instead of single-click to get into one of these workspaces. So I have to click-click. OK, so let's take a look at the file manager. If you click on the file manager icon the file manager window comes up if you have a particular folder double click to navigate down into it single click it in order to select it right click to find any alternative options to perform on that particular file or folder down the left hand side we have um, some shortcuts to different directories and indeed different file systems here's a USB drive that I have attached to the system with a number of files on so I hope that's given you a little bit of a flavor of the latest release and thanks for watching.